Hey everybody, yoga day, yoga day. We're gonna try a little bit of core, but we're gonna do um, quite a bit of stretching too. So let's start with our feet a little bit wider than our hips. We're gonna inhale up. Exhale, forward fold. Three more just like that, inhale up. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale up. And forward fold. We're gonna hold this one here. So just nice and relaxed in this forward fold, taking some nice deep breaths. Really thinking about your exhale, that you are getting all that air out of there. One more breath right here. Good, bend your knees, inhale up, big breath in. Exhale is a back bend. Inhale, reach to the sky. Exhale, forward fold. We're gonna do two more of those, inhale up. Exhale, back bend. Inhale, reach to the sky. Forward fold. One more, inhale up. Exhale is a back bend. Inhale, reach to the sky. Exhales, forward fold. We're gonna hold and stay in that forward fold. Three more breaths, really. Focus on the long breath in, the long exhale. Good, let's do one more big breath in. And exhale. Good, bend your knees, roll yourself up, set your shoulders back. We're gonna open our palms up. We're gonna do a, just a few more breaths before we go into our series. We're gonna do mountain pose. So mountain pose, feet are still a little bit wider than your hips. Your palms are open. You take a big breath in, open your chest and pull your arms back. Kind of like you're opening your face to the sun. And then exhale, relax from that just a little bit so your arms are still out. Nice long exhale. Good, inhale. And exhale. One more, inhale. And exhale, good mountain pose, good. We're going to tree pose next. So let's do a little balance. We're gonna be on one foot, hands to center. You can be on your toe, your foot, is on your calf, your foot is on your knee or your thigh, depending on your level of balance and flexibility. We're gonna breathe right here. Now on your exhale, take that bent knee and pull it back, opening up the hips. Good, two more here. Good, let's hold that tree pose. Inhale, hands to ceiling. Exhale, open your hands out. Inhale, hands to center. Exhale, right there. Good, drop that foot under your hip. We're gonna drop down into chair pose. Hold your nice, strong chair pose. Shoulders are down and back, relaxed. Belly button's nice and tight. Good breathing here. Good, straighten your knees. Let's come back to mountain pose. Big breath in, exhale here. One more inhale 
and exhale. Good, hands to center, tree pose on the other side. Again, toes, foot on your calf, foot on your knee, wherever you're at, take a big breath. Exhale, bent knee back. Good, nice opening up of the hips. Good, find your focus, really just finding, to put your vision on a, a spot that helps with your balance. One more breath. Good, inhale, hands up. Exhale, open to the sides. Inhale, hands to center. Exhale right here. Good, let's drop that foot under hips. Inhale to chair pose. And exhale. Another breath right here in that nice low chair pose. One more breath. Good, inhale up to mountain pose. Big breath and exhale. Good, one more breath here. All right, nice job. Okay, we're going into our series. We're gonna do our, our uh, Cobra Down Dog. So start at the top of your mat. All right, inhale up, exhale back bend. Inhale, reach to the sky. We're gonna exhale and forward fold. You're gonna place your hands on your mat, step back with one, back with the other. Exhale, down slow, four, three, two, and one. Cobra up, exhale, drop your hips. Tuck your toes, down dog, big breath in, tailbone to ceiling. Exhale, drop your heels. Bend your knees, inhale, stepping it forward. One foot and then the other foot. Inhale up. Our exhale is a back bend. Inhale, reach to the sky. Exhale, forward fold. Place your hands on the mat. Stepping back with one foot and then the other. Exhale down. Four, three, two, and one. Cobra up. Exhale, drop your hips. Tuck your toes, down dog, big breath in, tailbone to ceiling. Exhale, heels to the ground. Bend your knees slightly. Inhale, stepping forward. One foot, and then the other foot. Inhale, up. Exhale, back bend. Inhale, reach to the sky. Exhale, forward fold. Place your hands on the mat, stepping back. One foot, and then the other foot, coming to plank. Taking it down, four, three, two, and one. Good, cobra up. Exhale, drop your hips. This time you're gonna inhale, you're gonna sit back into prayer stretch. Let's give that low back a nice, good stretch. So really sitting back into that stretch. Rest your head on the mat. Let's take three breaths here. I really, if you need to wiggle around or spread your knees apart, to really sit back on your heels. Good, giving that back a nice stretch. Okay, now we're gonna go into our strength series. So we're going back to our stomach. We're gonna cobra up, exhale, drop your hips. Tuck your toes, down dog. Let's lift the left leg on the inhale. Big breath in, exhale back down, inhale to plank. We're gonna hold the plank on your exhale. Take a breath in, exhaling down for four, three, two, and one. Cobra up, exhale, drop your hips. Tuck your toes down, dog, big breath in. This time the right leg's coming up. Exhale, let that heel go to the ground. Bring that leg back, down. Inhale to plank. 
hold your exhale, hold your plank. Take another breath in. Exhale down four, three, two, and one. Cobra up. Exhale, drop your hips. Tuck your toes down, dog. Big breath in. The left leg's coming up. Sweep it through to a strong half heel. On your exhale. Ready? Exhale, sweeping it through to a strong half heel. Remember that our back leg is straight, really locking out using your quad and your glutes. Inhale back to plank. Exhale down four, three, two, and one. Cobra up. Exhale, drop your hips. Tuck your toes down, dog. Big breath in. Other legs coming up. Nice and high. On our exhale, sweeping it through to a strong half heel. Is isolating out, really locking out that thigh and the glute. Inhale to plank. Exhale down four, three, two, and one. Good. Cobra up. Exhale, drop your hips. Tuck your toes down, dog. Big breath in. Left leg up. Our exhale, we're going to sweep that leg through to a strong half kneel. Now you're going to take that arm and reach it up. So we're still in a nice strong half kneel. Big breath to the ceiling. We're going to hold this nice strong pose. Exhale, bring your arm behind you a little bit. Back legs nice and strong. Inhale to the ceiling. Exhale, bring that hand back down. Inhale to plank. Exhaling down four, three, two, and one. Good. Cobra up. Exhale, drop your hips. Tuck your toes. Down dog. Other leg up nice and strong. Exhaling, sweeping it through to a strong half feel. Lock it out nice and strong. Inhale, lift that hand to the ceiling. Exhale, bring that hand behind you. Inhale to the ceiling, back leg still nice and strong. Exhale, bring that hand back down. Inhale, sweeping your leg back to plank. Exhale down, four, three, two, and one. Cobra up, exhale. Let's do one more breath right there in Cobra. Good, sit back into prayer stretch. Really nice big prayer stretch here, really sitting back on those heels, resting your head on the ground. Good, come to all fours. You're gonna tuck your toes. We're gonna come back to down dog. We're gonna do one more down dog, big breath in. And then exhale, let your heels go down to the ground. Now you're gonna bend your knees, step forward with one, forward with the other. We're gonna stay in this forward fold. So what I want you to do, take your arms around, wrap them around your thighs. You're exhaling, you're gonna drop your head and shoulders down. So your chest is folding over your legs, over your thighs. You're gonna take a couple breaths here. Good. Now we're going to do a couple more strength moves. So you're going to take your hands and you're going to place them on the ground. We're going to start by balancing on the right foot. So your hands are on either side. You're in front of that right foot, but your hands are a little bit on either side because we're going to need them for balance. You're going to take your left leg. You're going to lift it as high as you can. Now, if you need to come on knuckles or fingertips, or you can stay on your hands. I'm just not quite flexible enough today. I need to go on my knuckles. Okay, so big breath in. That leg is as high as you can get it. The other leg is working really hard to keep you stable. Exhale, bring your chest toward your leg. Couple more breaths here. This is a nice strong pose. Good, drop that leg. Whew, take a breath. It's harder than it looks. Okay, you're gonna we're going to do that on the other leg. So you're going to lock your hands so that they're in front of that other leg, but a little bit for um, on either side for balance. All right. So inhale, bring that other leg as high as you can. 
Now you may notice that they're not the same. That's all right, just make note of that. Sometimes we're tighter in one hip than the other. Take a big breath in, that leg's going as high as you can. Exhale, chin to thigh. Two more breaths there. Good, bring that leg down. Ooh, that one always gets me more than it looks. Hands on the ground. Come back to all fours, and then we're sitting back into prayer stretch. After that, pretty aggressive hip stretch there. Sit on back into your prayer stretch. Now we're gonna take that to one side, and then sit back kind of up, sit back on the opposite hip a little bit more to get some nice breath. Good, one more breath, drop that shoulder down so you really feel a stretch under your arm. Good, back to the middle. Nice and deep in that prayer stretch. And then we're going to the other side, same thing. So sit back on that opposite hip, big breath. Exhale, kind of drop that shoulder down. Good job. Come on back to middle. We're gonna drop our head and chest down one more time. All right, good. Transition up to standing. So you can come on your toes, come to down dog, and then step yourself forward. Roll yourself up. Whew, nice job. Okay, we're coming to our warrior series. Before we do that, let's do some forward folds. So we're in a wide leg position. Let's take a big breath up. Exhale, forward fold. Yeah, let's start here. So wiggle around your feet as you need to get in that wide leg forward fold position. On your exhale, dropping your head and shoulders, bending your elbows. We're coming forward as far as you can. This is a great stretch for the back, hamstrings, inner thighs. Couple deep breaths here. <coughs> walk, bend your one leg, walk your hands over. We're coming. So one knee's bent. This leg is straight. You should really feel a good stretch in that inner thigh there. Come way down if you can. Couple deep breaths here. <clears throat> good. Now in this stretch, this hand stays on the ground. Your other hand, you're going to lift it up. This is a pretty intense stretch. Do your best. We're trying to reach to the ceiling. You should feel a really good stretch in the left inner thigh. And then drop that top shoulder. Don't let it come up here. Pull it down and back. Now some big breaths. I haven't been here in a while. You see all the dust. Funny. Big breath. Drop that hand, come back to the middle, forward fold. Exhale, really dropping forward. Couple big breaths. Good, bend your other knee, walk your hands over. We're gonna repeat that on this other side. So coming into a nice bent knee stretch, take a couple breaths here. Okay, good. Now, the hand closest to your bent knee stays on the ground. The other one's coming up. Big inhale, big exhale. This top shoulder, drop it down. Big breaths. Good job. Drop it back down. One more breath in middle forward fold. Big breath in. Exhale, really drop it forward here. All right, good. Come up, walk your feet together just a little, not much. Bend your knees, roll yourself up. Take your time if you need. Set those shoulders back. Nice job. Okay, that was some good hip stretching. We're gonna move to warrior. So this foot, turn it. So I'm on my right foot is forward. 
to my left foot. I'm gonna turn it back a little. We're gonna open up to the front. We're gonna take a big breath in. Your exhale, bend that front knee. So we're in our strong warrior pose. Inhale, raise your front hand up. Exhale, slide that hand down. We're staying in that nice lunge position. This knee is in the front. Make sure that back knee is straight. The more in a lunge you are, the more your legs have to work. So keep that front knee bent. Keep breathing. Next inhale, both hands are overhead. So we're in warrior. I always forget this is one or two. Now we're going to warrior three. You're balancing on that front leg. Arms are coming forward. You're gonna kick that back leg back. Lift it up. Take some nice deep breaths right here. Ooh, good thing that piece of furniture was just there. <laughs> Big breath. Step it back, breathe in overhead, big breath. Exhale, open to the front. Good, turn your feet so they're both straight forward. We're gonna exhale into a forward fold. Hips are back. Exhale, drop in the head and shoulders. Bend your knees, roll yourself up. Good, set those shoulders back. We're gonna go warrior on the other side. So my left foot, I'm turning it. Back one is back. Arms are to the front. Take a big breath in. Exhale, bend that front knee. We're in that nice strong lunge position. Inhale, front hand up. Exhale, slide that hand down. Couple nice breaths here. Next, inhale, both hands are overhead. Big breath. Exhale right here. Still in a strong lunge. Good, inhale to warrior three. Get that back leg back. Hands are forward. Good, inhale, step it back. Inhale to the sky. Exhale, open it to the front. Straighten both knees back to the front. Exhale to forward fold. Big forward fold here. Good. Bend your knees. We're going to transition to being on your back. So just come onto your back. We're going to come into our tabletop position. So this is the one where our hands are above our shoulders, knees above hips. Pull your shoulder blades into the mat. Pull your belly button down tight. We're going to do opposite arm leg for a count of four. Take it down. Four, three, two, and one, and then up. Four, three, two. Now go the other side. Opposite arm leg. Down four. Three, two, and one, and up four, three, two. So you keep switching. Keep your shoulder blades pulled into the mat. Keep your belly button tucked down to the ground. Core should be working really pretty hard right now. Good job, keep going. Keep pulling that belly button in tight. Keep pulling your shoulder blades into the mat so we get a good core workout here. Let's do one more on each side. Nice, bring your knees towards your chest. Pull them nice and tight, big breath. And exhale. Good, now you're gonna put the bottoms of your feet together. You're gonna to bring your knees apart. You're gonna take your hands and they're gonna go on your shins, your ankles, the outsides of your feet. 
wherever you're comfortable. We're going into a butterfly stretch. So take a nice big breath in. And then on your exhale, really just let those knees relax. Wiggle around if you need. Good, another breath here. Good, we're going to happy baby. So take your hand, your hands are still on your legs or your feet. The bottoms of your feet are going to the ceiling. Pull your toes towards your nose if you want a little more of a stretch. Take some big deep breaths and really try to let your legs open up here. The more you pull your feet towards your head, the more you'll get a really good stretch in your low back. So depending on where you need it. If you feel like you need it more in your hips, you can bring your legs apart. If you feel like you need it more in your low back, you can pull your feet up towards your head a little bit more. Now just really relax into this stretch. Good, put your feet back together. Bring your knees back together. We're gonna to hold one knee up. We're gonna drop that other leg down. We're gonna rotate. So rotate over to the side. We're getting a really good stretch in your low back. Now you should try to keep your shoulders on the ground. So if you need to kind of wiggle around, your palms are facing the sky. Find a place to rest your foot. And as you exhale, just keep rotating into this stretch. Good, if you want to advance the stretch, bring that leg up a little higher, you can take your hand and wrap it around your thigh. Just keep really rotating into the stretch. Good, come out of that stretch. Bring both knees to your chest for a breath. Now keep your other knee towards your chest, drop that other leg down all the way. Let's repeat this on this other side. So you're rotating, try to keep your shoulders down. This palm is up, find a place to rest your foot and keep breathing. And again, on your exhales, you're just letting that leg rotate. Try to keep the opposite shoulder down if you can. Take your hand, wrap it around that thigh if you want a little bit more of a rotation stretch. Good, couple nice deep breaths and just really roll into this stretch here. Good, come out of that stretch. Bring both knees towards your chest. Take a breath. We're gonna transition over. We're gonna end with child's pose. So you're coming back. In sink and back, starting like you're in your prayer pose, and then you're going to rest your head on the mat, wrap your hands around your legs. So we have one more minute or so. Really, I want you to sit back into that stretch, feeling a really good stretch in your low back. If for some reason this is uncomfortable, you can go back to a prayer stretch here, or you can bend your elbows and then just rest it back like this. Tuck your elbows in between your knees and rest your head on your hands. So there's a lot of different variations. The big thing is that you feel comfortable and you feel a good stretch in your low back. Good, take a couple nice deep breaths wherever you are in your child's pose position. All right, we're gonna end with a rebound. So however you wanna be, if you're happy and like where you're at, you can stay in that child's pose, you can go to prayer pose, you can lay on your tummy or your back. Some people like to curl up on their side. Whatever it is, is a one minute rest and relaxation, big deep breaths after you have done your yoga workout. 
So you're really focusing on your breath. Think about this good half hour that you gave yourself so that you feel better. Your body feels better. You've got better flexibility. You should have some good oxygen through you. It's a beautiful day. You can go to your happy place. You can think about happy things. Just really go into a positive space here for your last minute. Be mindful of how you're feeling. If your back's a little tight, wiggle around. Stay there for another minute or so if you have time. Again, we're just really being mindful about feeling good. Awesome job. See you next time.